Hey guys, Silly Cat 2 here. Welcome back for more La Mulana. In the last episode, we got some awesome stuff accomplished. We beat Sackett, the hardest boss in the first half of the game. And we got at the helmet, which will allow us to go up this way and get the scale sphere. Water that operates the tower flows here and is converted to energy. So this is the power source for the entire ruins. Very interesting. Alright, now. If you have zero life jewels, the only way to get through here is to fill up your EXP bar and then take out one of those guys along the way and hope that it's enough to refill your EXP. Uh, or your HP. Rest thy weary body. The fairies will kindly divine thy life. Yes, as you can see by these little spark sparkles here, this is a summoning spot. If you take out Diviner Sensation and stand on one of the sparkles, you will summon a fairy that will heal you a little bit. Alright, moving on. Whoa, surprise fish! Yes, you'll want to watch out for those, and... You probably want to stand on the left side of these uh, platform here, platform elevators here. And then you will want to go this way. There's a centaur like, centaur like, whatever, boss here that you will want to take out right away. This is a mini boss, actually. I forget its name, but it's something really weird. Oops. Seek the seals. Thy way will be opened even more. We are actually on our way to get this seal. That's the seal up there. It is the conception seal. It is the first of four within the game. Hyper Sports 1. This is the Conception Seal. If you take this to certain marks throughout the game, things will happen. Like, for instance, this. The symbol on the, on the Conception Seal is the uh, La Mulana numeral for the number one. Interesting bit of trivia there, and I will actually be using a puzzle later on. Whoops. There's a lot of useless trivia in these adventure games are. Act surprise fish stuff for the uh Lame Yeah, whatever. We have plenty of time, I think. Alright, just gotta wait for that elevator again. Whoops. <laughs> Don't I missed! No! Okay. Everything went better than expected. There we go. That's what we want to do. Now we attack this gear thingy here. Or not. What we actually do is this. And that opens up a treasure chest containing a scale sphere. Now we can swim in water without losing health. I bet it's possible to get up there. Yeah, it is. Now we do that. We put a weight here. And that starts the water flowing. So now I can attack this gear thing here. To get the water flowing even more. 
And now we can just jump to our deaths. That was an epic fail at a suicide jump. Anyway. Anyway, gloves. These will, I believe, allow us to push blocks faster than we could before. So that's a nice useful thing there. Ouch. Now we've done that, we can take a dive to the bottom of the ruins. You know, let's take a dive in a quad mine. It used to be a coal pit, now it's a water ride. <laughs> Whoops. That was epic fail of me. It was fazzletastic. Anyway. Bat. The thing with bats is that they, um, you know, like... They can't be seen in the water because they're invisible and it's stupid. Alright, now, a thing that we want to do here is, we want to kill this fish. Man, I'm sorry little guy, but you're protecting the octopus and the Cabbage Patch Kids run. Alright, now that we've killed that guy, we can actually go in here and put a thing on the pedestal. And that will allow us to get to the boss, which is pretty great. But we are in no shape to fight the boss, really, so we're not going to be doing that just yet. Instead, what we want to do is attack this little knot in the rope here. Hard. Swimming physics! Seriously, the water physics in this game are worse than the ice physics. Maybe. Okay, now we've done that, we can attack this gear here, or this pulley rather. And that will make things happen in the room below. As you can see, the water is drained from this pool, and we can fall down that pit, but not without getting quarked. Now, the thing about the Cabbage Patch Kids run is that if you combine it with Athletic Land in the MSX2, your uh, invincibility time after getting hit will go up drastically, as you can see right there, and how is that a trap? Like, what? Anyway, this room is on the other side of the pyramid. But that is not important. What is important is that we actually manage to, uh, do this. And, um, no, wait a second. Huh? Wasn't the... Yeah. Wasn't that supposed to open? Seriously, why is that not open? Um... Okay, you know what it is? I haven't, uh, solved the puzzle of the pyramid yet, so let's go do that now! <laughs> Alright, now, while you're in this pyramid, you want to be careful not to attack the walls because you will get struck by lightning and that is a thing that kind of hurts.
path that connects the two pyramids. If we had the flare gun, we'd be able to see what things we're talking about here, but we don't. That is what we wanted to press. Now we've done that, we can get out of this place. By whatever means necessary, i.e. falling through here. Whoops. <laughs> Fail. Now we've done that. We can go across here. Oops, except we want to be careful not to fall down the pit. We take a ride to the other side. Place a weight on this pedestal. And that lets us get up here. Now how do I get in there? That is how. Say hello to faster walking speed. Haha. <laughs> this will make things this will make things a lot easier for us. Alright, so now that we have the boots, there are actually things we can get back on the surface. So let's head back up here. As you can see, we can jump a lot farther with the boots, which will really help. But what we want to do is jump. And then jump again. And use the conception seal to get the... Ah! I think... Anyway, uh, we can actually whip that thing right there, but it will be annoying without the bird! Or it will be annoying with the bird, rather. Yeah, just whip it ten times like so, and it will break and reveal a cave, which is pretty great. Anyway, birth seal! We can also whip this here. And that will give us our next life jewel! Yes, there is one on the surface! How awesome is that? Yeah! Now, you might be wondering why the heck is there a little alcove in there, or you might not be wondering that, but the answer is... Spoilers. <laughs> Now, since we have the boots, we still cannot get over there, so that is a waste of our time. But, now we have the birth seal, there is yet another life jewel we can get. Arg. That's all I have to say shop over there, but I don't think it sells anything we can use. Now let's just get up there, and we can kill all the- Yeah, I freak out a lot, don't I? Anyway, we can kill all these exploding pigs here. This enemy too. This kangaroo rat thing. 
And not only do we have enough EXP to refill our life bars, but we also get a, a life jewel to expand our life bar. We now have half of the life jewels in the game. Awesome! And with that being said, I guess it is time to end off this episode. Haha, <laughs> we did a lot. So, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos, big yellow button up top. Give me a thumbs up down below this video, and be sure to check out my other stuff. This is Silly Cat 2. I'll be seeing you later.